All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a music progress with a circle indicator. And as you can see, we do have two of these over here in this music component that I have. So that's what we're going to focus on here. I'm going to show you two ways. One of them has a closed circle. One of them has an open circle. There are two different applications here. And if I go ahead and play the music, and we'll just mute the uh, music for right now. But as you can see, the circles are moving and you may notice they move at a slightly different speed. Well, that'll be okay because uh, once it gets to 100%, both of them are gonna go or be at the end and they will reset back to the beginning. And to show you that real quick, I'll just jump into Spotify and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this close to the end of this song. And now when we come back to here, as you can see, the circles have jumped towards the end and at the end of the song and when the next song starts playing, they will reset back to the beginning here any second now. As you can see, there's that one and this one should be popping up. Uh, as you can see, there it is right there. So these will continue to move across the screen based on uh, percentages of the track and things like that. Let's go ahead and go into KOWP and have a look at how to create these two music progress pieces. So I'm gonna show you both of them. Uh, this component here, the uh, music component, music progress with circle indicator. This will be shared on KOWP Toots soon. I'm not going to go over the entire music component. I'm just going to focus on the music indicators for right now. And coming down here to music progress with closed circle. That's this one here. Okay. So inside of this overlap group that I have, it is an overlap group, both of these pieces. One of them's going, or both, they're both going to be progresses, but one progress is just going to serve as like the background. And that's going to be all those tiny circles that we see or whatever shape you choose. I have progress set to custom, min is zero, max is 100, and I have the level set to 100. I chose to repeat shapes and I chose 50 shapes and I ended up picking circles as my shapes. Uh, adjust your size accordingly to whatever size you want. I have it set to 200. The width is 70. Now you may notice here too, let me go ahead and point this out. You may notice this is a lot bigger than what yours may look like. Well, that's because I had this entire thing like zoomed in. I had the entire component scaled. So you see a, it's a lot bigger. Um, if I remember, I'll show you that at the end. But adjust your size accordingly. And the width, adjust that. And again, all this is is the background to this thing, okay? And let's see, color, uh, have it mode set to flat. And since it's already at 100, um, whatever color you pick here, I, I have a global set up inside of this component. But if we take that global off, whatever color I pick is the color we're going to constantly see. As you can see, there's just red circles right there. But I have this set as a global. So if you get this preset, um, it'll just be there for your convenience to adjust those globals inside of the component. Now, that's just the backdrop. So nothing special about that, except I just use progress to create really 50 circles really fast. This progress here is going to be the one that's important uh, that we're gonna have to do a little bit of coding and making sure we set this thing up correctly. So the progress, I have it set to custom. I think you could set this to music playtime, but I just decided to keep it at custom. And the min is zero, the max is 100. And for the level, since the music is playing through the song, the, the, the level is going to change based on where what position it is in in regards to the song. So that's going to be based on the MI% percent function. And MI% percent is going to tell you what percentage it is through the current track. So right now we're around 4%. That means this white circle here should be about 4% of the, it should cover about 4% of the distance all the way across this thing. Something else important to note, I got repeat shapes. Uh, I kept it at 50. Uh, keep it at the same. I, I recommend keeping it around the same. That way it'll stay somewhat proportional. I, I don't think you have to do that. But uh, nonetheless, anyway, 50 sections. Actually, we could adjust that too. <laughs> now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. But for style, let's talk about this. What is important here is that whatever size you made that background, that first progress, whatever size that one was, keep the size the same. However, uh, for the width of whatever shape you choose, make that width a lot bigger. That way this circle, as I'm sitting here clicking on this, do you see how that, that circle, that white circle is getting bigger and bigger and bigger? So make sure you... Uh, adjust that keep the size the same that's think of that as like the length since we're dealing with a linear progress but the width is going to adjust the size of that circle and you definitely want this circle to kind of pop 
over the background there as it moves across this progress bar. So that's important to take note of there. I didn't have anything else changed inside of here. The color, I have a slightly different color. And what is very important here as well is to set the mode to current. Therefore, it only gives you the current position. You don't want to set this thing to flat because if we do that, if I save that and go back to the home screen, you will notice that it's going to keep all of these circles that were up until this position. So by us setting the mode to current it's only going to give you that current position and that dot's going to kind of move across the screen now something i just did mention and that's all i think i think i pretty much cover that yeah now about that what we could do here um, for this circle the big white circle that you see there we could give this thing more sections if we give it more sections it's going to do more ticks right now from the beginning to the end it's going to do 50 ticks to get across this thing. But if I adjust a number of sections for this big circle, like if I bump this up to 100, um, that's gonna make the circle smaller, but I can always come back in here into style and make the width even bigger yet again. You notice it may be moving a few things around. I'm gonna set it up to 400, but what you're gonna notice now is it's gonna do more ticks as it goes through. So save this, go back to the home screen, let's have a peek. And that little white circle that's moving there, it's going to actually end up moving 100 times because we had 100 sections, but you're only going to see one section at a time here because this thing is set to current. That is very important. The mode is set to current. So uh, adjust that to your liking. And again, while I'm at it, I'll show you that, yes, this thing is actually quite a bit smaller if it's scaled back to 100. If I come back to this component, this entire component that I have here, notice I do have it set scaled to 200. And all I did there was just create a number global variable and we can adjust this size real quick. But I'm gonna keep it big so that you can see it in this tutorial. Now, let's talk about the other one, the one with the open circle. It's a little bit different. No, uh, something that's the same though is the progress that's the background. Remember how I told you custom, min, zero, max, 100, no codes here repeat shapes it's virtually identical to the the background i made for the other one however what we want to take note of here is this when you go to style you want to remember what this size is right here the size is 200 and really that's going to show you how big or how small this thing is so if i bump this up to like 300 all right and i and this is going to actually mess up the way this open circle is moving right now well, i'm going to show you how to fix that so the progress there, nothing special. Let's go look at the actual circle that's moving. And notice this piece is not a progress. The actual circle there is not a progress. It's just a shape. So shape, circle, under paint. I have it set to stroke so we can create an open circle. You can adjust that stroke accordingly. I forgot where I had it, but let me cut it down to where it's open again. So somewhere around there is good. And if we go over to its position, this is the important part here. I told you to remember the size of your progress that we just created. All these little tiny circles that we have back here. Apply some left padding. And what the left padding is going to do, let me take the left padding off for right now. Um, if I apply some left padding and I position this circle at center left, by apply, uh, applying left padding, it's going to move this circle across this progress, as you can see here. Well, we want that to change dynamically based on the current position of the track. So the code I originally had in here, if I click on this, is I have MI percent divide by 100. So we want to convert that uh, percentage to a decimal. And then we want to multiply it by 200. But now I don't want to use 200. If you recall, originally I did have the size of that progress set to 200, but I ended up changing it to 300. I need to change that. That way I can ensure that this circle, that white circle there goes all the way across. And as you can see, it is changing because this padding is changing dynamically based on the MI percent. And just like that, you know, we have two different ways. If I come back to the home screen, this one is a longer one. But once this one hits 100%, this one's going to hit 100% too. And again, the big piece here is remembering the size so that you can incorporate the size of that progress bar here, incorporate it into the left padding for that open circle. And, um, you know, just double checking, I, this song is just about done. I'll tell you what, well, I don't need to do that because it's just about done. I probably just missed it. Nope, not, not quite. But once this right here gets to the end, both of these circles should jump back to the beginning. And as you can see, it does. 
So there you have it. That's two ways that you can create a music progress using a circle as like your indicator of where you are on the track. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.